hello and welcome back to the gale trains so we were solving the problems uh, numericals right uh, today in today's class we solved numerical number uh, 4 5 and 6 okay so we we'll just uh, go through it. so numerical 4 a compound epicyclic gear is shown the number of teeth on gear a b c are 18 45 and 21 respectively the gear a rotates at 90 rpm and gear d rotates at 4 450 rpm clockwise find the speed of the r and gear e assuming same pitch or module for all gears okay so uh, this is a compound epicyclic uh, because here bc okay because bc is a compound gear they are mounted on the same shaft hence it is a compound gear so if you see the sketch a will drive b okay uh, and since b and c are on the same shaft okay this uh, the speed of b and c are the same okay then C drives gear D, the internal gear D, whereas gear B drives internal gear E. Okay. Now, so uh, <coughs> solution: uh, the teeth of gear A, B, C are given, and also they stated that the gear A rotates at 90 degree, uh, rotates at, at 90 rpm clock, counterclockwise direction. Okay. So N A speed of a is minus 90 because it is counterclockwise and then gear d rotates at 450 rpm so gear d here is 450 rpm okay so first let us calculate the number of teeth on the gear that are missing that is d and e okay so teeth on gear d you know that uh, from the figure radius of a plus radius of b plus radius of c is equal to radius of d okay so that's why you are written and then radius is equal to m into da a module into the number of teeth okay so similarly for ra becomes m into da rb is m into db rc is m into tc and rd is m into t d since the module is the same m is same for all okay so m cancels itself and hence you have this expression so you can calculate the number of teeth on gear is 84 okay similarly to calculate the gear on uh, teeth on gear e from the sketch again r a plus diameter of gear d diameter of the uh, sorry the diameter of gear b is equal to radius of r uh, of gear e okay hence diameter is nothing but what twice the radius okay, hence i have to get 2 r b is equal to r a so that is m t a plus m 2 m into 2 t b plus m t e and since the module are the same you get this expression and we calculate that the number of teeth on gear E is 108. Okay, the next step is to put the tabular column. Okay, <clears throat> so here the uh, the first uh, uh, column uh, is a uh, row is a step number. Okay, then condition of motions, then always the R. Okay, R. Okay, so this here R is F, so then is R F. Then comes the sun gear. Okay, in this the other central gear that is gear A, that is gear A. Okay, now A drives the uh, compound gear BC, compound gear, hence I have taken it as compound gear BC, okay, because the speed of B and C are the same, all right, that's why you can be taken it as one. Then, then you have two more gears, gear D and gear E, okay, you can either write gear E and then gear D or D and it doesn't matter, okay, the why I have taken is C, C drives D, okay, hence I have taken gear D and then B drives E, I have taken gear E, okay, now let us calculate next. So step number one is fix the arm and give one rotation clockwise to gear A. Okay, so fix the arm. So speed of arm is zero and gear have given one rotation in clockwise direction. Hence it is one or plus one. Okay, fine. So when I give one rotation to gear A, what what is there? What happens to the uh, what happens to uh, what is the train value of the compound gear B C? See, gear A drives gear B, so it's a simple gear train, right? It's a simple gear train, and A is the driver and T is the follower. Okay. So hence it is T A by T B. Now, because the direction of gear B is opposite to direction of gear A, it is minus, right? Now, because if if gear A drives uh, goes clockwise, then gear B will be counterclockwise. So it's a the negative direction. 
<coughs> then gearity that means i want the train value from uh, or the gear train is now gear a drives gear b and then c drives gear d so this is a compound gear train it's a compound gear train so in a compound gear train uh, the train value is given by is given as product of teeth of drivers divided by product of teeth on followers because a gear a drives b a is the driver b is the follower similarly c drives d so c becomes a driver and d becomes a follower okay hence it is the product of that now why the minus symbol okay the symbol is plus if okay if the uh, if the gear a and d are in the same direction then the symbol is plus if it is in opposite direction then it is minus okay so let us see so if a rotates in a clockwise what will b rotate counterclockwise then because b and c are the same shaft even c will be on the counterclockwise now c gear c is in mesh with gear d internally so whenever the gears mesh internal the direction is the same the direction is the same okay so if c and d are the same direction then gear a and d are in opposite direction hence the minus symbol hence the minus symbol okay next we will go to gear e okay. no so how does the energy get transferred to gear e a drives b and b drives e right directly b drives e so it's nothing but a simple gear train simple but a simple gear train where then where gear b is the idler or the idle gear so in case of a simple gear train the train value is teeth on driver divided by teeth on follower so t, uh, gear t a teeth on driver divided by tb teeth on uh, follower okay now, now the whether it's plus or minus let us see the direction of gear e with respect to gear a so if gear gear a is clockwise b is uh, anti clockwise b is in mesh with e internally so again b and e will have the same direction in other words the direction of e with respect to a is opposite hence it is minus okay so i hope you understood why it's plus and minus and also the uh, the train values okay fine so once you get this expression next is the multiply by x to all the expression then add y to all the expression okay next in the question it is given that gear a rotates at 90 rpm counter clockwise that's why taken it as minus and gear d rotates at 450 rpm clockwise hence it is positive Okay, now this the last column is nothing but the expressions or the speed of the gears. Okay, speed of the gears. So if N A is equal to minus 90, N A is what speed of gear A. Speed of gear A represented by x plus y. Then N D is uh, okay. N D is equal to 450 rpm. Okay, so N D is over here. The expression of uh, gear uh, D. Okay. So, so from table x plus y is equal to minus 90 y gear a, and then uh, y minus t a into t c into t d into x is equal to 450 y gear d. Okay. So so uh, so then we know we just substitute and we get this expression. You substitute the number of teeth on each gear, so I get y minus 0.1 x into equal to 450. Okay. So now again solving for one and two, you will get the value of X uh, that's one minus two gives you x value. Substitute in the first expression and get the value of y. Okay. So once you get the value of x and y, we are asked to find the speed of the arm. So speed of the arm is nothing but to y. So y is uh, 400.9 rpm, or the speed of the arm is 400.9 rpm in the clockwise direction because it is positive. Okay. Next speed of gear B. Again from table we know the expression. Substitute the expression. And get the speed of E is 482.7 rpm. That is the speed of gear E, A, e is 482.7 rpm in clockwise direction. Why? Because both are plus. If I get minus, then it is counterclockwise direction. Okay. All right. So next problem, numerical number five. Uh, again, wheel A, D, E are free to rotate independently on spindle O, while the compound wheel B, C rotates on spindle P on arm O, P. If wheel A is Is given a clockwise rotation of 60 rpm, while the gear D is driven counterclockwise at 300 rpm. 
determine the speeds of arm OP and E assume the same model for all gears. Okay. So again in this figure also similarly A is the sun and BC is the compound gear which is the planet. Okay. So A drives B because B and C are in the same shop. Okay. Uh, then C drives D whereas B drives again E. Okay. Very similar to what we have sought. So the first step is to find the uh, number of teeth on gear D and E. Okay. So again from the from the figure you know that RD is equal to RA plus RB plus RC. Okay. So you can calculate the number of uh, teeth which is 56 and then teeth on E which is RA plus twice that of RB. Okay. Because the diameter of gear B. Okay. And again uh, uh, radius is nothing but M into TE and module is the same. So I can calculate both the teeth. Okay. Next is again the same. Alright. So I have the Condition of motion, the first is the arm, arm OP, then the uh, sun gear, that is gear A, then compound gear BC, then uh, C drives D, so gear, gear D and then the E. Okay. Again, fix the arm, so 0, and then give one rotation to clockwise into the sun, that is 1. Okay. So again, A drives B, and the direction of uh, gear B is opposite to that of A, hence it is minus. Okay. So, teeth on gear A divided by teeth on gear B. Okay. Teeth on driver by teeth on follower. Similarly, uh, uh, gear D, to get the drive to gear D, A has to, A will uh, drive B and then C will drive D. So, it is a compound gear train. Okay. So, in a compound gear train, it is the product of the drivers divided by uh, product of teeth on the followers. So, A and C are the driver and B and D are the followers. The symbol is minus because if A is in clockwise, then B, C is in anticlockwise and also D is also in the anticlockwise direction. Next one is the gear uh, T, E. So, A drives B, B drives E. So, it is again a simple gear train. A okay, simple gear train. So, in case of a simple gear train, the train value is teeth on driver, that is A, divided by teeth on the follower, that is T, E. So the direction A is clockwise, B is anticlockwise, E is again anticlockwise. Hence, the direction of A and E or E with respect to A is opposite. That's why it is minus. So, once you do that, multiply by X and add Y, you will get the final expression. Okay. And then what is given? It is given that when the gear A rotates at 60 RPM and gear D okay, rotates at 300 RPM counterclockwise. Alright. Okay. So, you know that NA, NA is X plus Y and D is this expression. Okay. So, same thing. You know the expressions, uh, solve, you get 1 and 2, then 1 minus q say x, then is the y. Okay. So, you solve for that and then the speed of the r is nothing, is from the table it is nr, so that is the value, uh, value of y. So, it is 272.2 rpm counterclockwise. Why? Because it is minus. Similarly, e also, you know the expression, substitute. So, you are going to get n e is minus 321.7 rpm, that the speed of the wheel is 320.7 rpm counterclockwise direction. <laughs> So, in the next uh, video, I am going to solve problem number 6. Okay.